right, here is the update. Um, all right, now you can see that with that um, intermodal car from, and that's a Rail King car too, doesn't uh, from MTH, doesn't fit the MTH uh, tunnel, so I had to do some uh, upgrading there. So what I did was basically uh, I lifted it up, um, and as you can see, um, I had to make it a little bit more even. So you're going to see here, I kept them together uh, for the time being and then kind of welded it together with uh, hot glue and, you know, try to make that a little more fit, a little bit more square. Um, and that's what I'm doing right there. You can see it's a little, a uh, little temperamental there, but that's okay. So you can see the little pieces right there that I cut out, I notched, um, and raised it up just so that one piece that one MTH rail car, and it's an MTH car too. Um, and I don't know why that one is so much bigger than all the other intermodals that I have, but that was the largest one. So I, that's why I had to raise that up. Um, now, the layout, I know this is after Christmas, but the layout, as you can see, I can move it in and out now. Um, the layout now is about 75% complete, maybe 60%. If you factor in the track, because I'm redoing the track, I'm going to go to uh, Atlas. Uh, actually, all of the, um, it's, you can see where I'm cutting through, and you know that's for the power for the TIU. But all of the houses, just about, um, except maybe two, um, are running off of the Woodland Scenics uh, quick plug. And that's what you see there. Um, that right there is for the track, I believe, the track power. So that's where it went to. I'm using speaker wire. Speaker wire is the best uh, way to go. You get more for your money is basically what it comes down to. And that's why you use speaker wire. Um, so there's what the inside of the tunnel looks like. Those are the Dickens uh, Village piece sets. I use those smaller piece sets right there to give it more of a forced perspective. It's where it looks like it's a little bit further out. Um, because the layout's only twelve by six. So here is uh here I am building the mountains. One of the one of the ways I like to build the mountains is just cut it, just glue a whole bunch of pieces together to fit, cut them to fit, glue them together with hot glue, um, and then slowly cut them with um, a utility knife. Uh, uh, take some sandpaper, kind of give it that rough texture the way a mountain would look, uh, then paint it up. Um, obviously, the white is white. Um, but the that brownish color that you see is uh, woodland, woodland Scenics uh, Earth Tones, and that's what that is. And then uh, what I would do around the white area, um, I would spray some glue and then um, dust it with uh, some Woodland Scenics uh, snow and then add the trees. So that's what's going on right there. And here is the finished product. Um, this is my holiday Santa Claus Christmas train with the MTH Premier. Um, SD60 uh, Veterans Heroes, Salute the Veterans, and then a um, uh, MTH Premier ES44AC uh, pulling that. Again, using that TIU, you saw that earlier. Um, so you can see <coughs> where I am a little, you know, I, this is why I said I only got about, it's about 75% done. Because you can see right where Santa is right about now. Um, in the back, I got to finish that area right but I didn't want to go into depth uh, with finishing with that because I knew I would be taking up this MTH for real tracks. Um, right there behind the Dickens Village, the smaller pieces on the bottom, uh, I'm going to take down that buffalo snow and actually use um, and create a real realistic scenic uh, mountains uh, hillside you know, in the back of it. Um, but I'm going to make that mountain kind of one piece. Uh, so uh, I got some uh, wood that I'm going to kind of make um, sort of like a platform so I can sit those Dickens pieces on there. But also um, what I want to do as well is, you know, just uh, create a sidewalk, give it that realistic effect. In there. So that is um, what I have going on. Um, again, um, hopefully... I'm probably going to take a break. I got some other projects going on at the moment. So, um, I actually, I got to order all the track anyway. You're talking a couple hundred dollars worth of track. Just actually probably around six, seven hundred dollars worth of track just because, um, not just because, but it's 
it's a 12 by 6 so I was uh, pricing it out so um, it's coming along uh, thoughts questions um, advice just give me a shout uh, it's, uh, put it in the, uh, the, the comments box and uh, I'll answer all the questions the best way I, know I can and uh, if uh, you got some really good input on what to do in the scenery because there's still some sections that I'm not too um, uh, I'm pretty much happy with it but there's some other things that I had to get done so if you guys have any opinions on hey you should do this let me know I may take it uh, in consideration and actually do it so all right guys thanks a lot I appreciate it